Hello everybody. News for today from the hill.com. Good 2018 with a trillion dollar year for cryptocurrencies. Let's find out. With total market capitalization exceeding half a trillion dollars in January, cryptocurrencies once characterized as a French store value now loaded as gold 2.0 are here to stay. Government involvement in crypto isn't always reluctant either. The Ukrainian government recently agreed to piloting a decentralized property ledger backed by blockchain technology, but lets buyers and sellers transact property deals autonomously, autonomously and bypass many of the bureaucratic and systematic limits typically associated with global real estate purchases. It shows that government bodies are closer than ever to sanctioning crypto on a broader scale. It also highlights that crypto is no longer just for niche community, according to a survey by VC firm Blockchain Capital. 30% of millennials say they'd rather own $1,000 of Bitcoin than $1,000 of government stocks. 79% of the general public knows that Bitcoin is, and 40% are open to using it for transactions and purposes. Traditional financial forces are also coming around to crypto. Hedge funds and wealthy individuals are finally close choosing to invest, heralding the involvement of even more traditional institutions like banks. This widespread adoption of crypto proves it's not just a bubble. In fact, we can actually expect a 50% market drop in 2018 as cryptocurrency prices stabilize, leading to an increased and sustainable market cap of $1 trillion. These five major currencies are likely to drive market capitalization in 2018. Bitcoin and Ethereum. These two wildly popular currencies aren't going anywhere anytime soon, despite inaccessible prices. In quotes, 11,000 for Bitcoin and 1,000 for Ether as of January 24th. Close quotes. Continuing, sorry, brackets. Continuing to put them out of reach of a casual investor. Bitcoin has an advantage as the first cryptocurrency invented. It's become almost synonymous with, in quotes, cryptocurrency for the casual consumer. But Ethereum's support for smart contracts and dis distributed applications is leading it to be adopted by mainstream consumer companies like Microsoft, giving its EFA crypto a natural boost. As Ethereum's profit rises, we'll see other, other currencies that are built on it, such as Tron and EOS, become more influential as well. Ripple Ripple is a payment solution for large financial institutions like banks. Its advantage, like Ethereum, it is its adoption by mainstream companies. American Express and Santander have already partnered to route their transactions with business partners through the blockchain using Ripple as an aid. These partnerships allow for significantly speedier worldwide payments and lead the way in illustrating the blockchain's broad commercial uses. Blockchain evangelists complain that it's too mainstream, but that's just the thing that gives them, that's giving consumers the trust to invest. Stellar whose crypto rocketed into the top 10 by market capitalization this year will also cause waves, an offshoot of Ripple. It's focused on enabling people-to-people -people transactions, and these transactions take less than 6 seconds to settle. Litecoin, created to be the, in quotes, little brother, end quotes, of Bitcoin and make it easier to complete smaller payments. Litecoin transactions only take 25 minutes, in brackets compared to 10 for Bitcoin, close brackets and is slated to have 84 million coins in circulation instead of 21 million. Its association to Bitcoin gives it security, but its price point makes it easier to buy in, in brackets, $179 as of January 24th. NEO Often called the Chinese Ethereum, NEO was developed to compete with Ethereum's smart contract offering. Investment investors might be loath to buy into a coin based in China due to some of its crackdowns such as banning digital coin issuances. However, this crackdown actually demonstrated the coin's incredible potential. Despite the fierce regulation, NEO is still in the top 15 coins at this time of writing. One of its main advantages is the sheer number of code bases it supports. Developers have to learn Ethereum's proprietary language before they can use the platform. EOS, another competitor to Ethereum. EOS focuses on delivering a system that's, that's faster and no more scalable and more scalable. This will allow users to build decentralized applications more efficiently. 
However, it will also allow end consumers to interact with EOS. In brackets, Ethereum is not user friendly, meaning it can only be navigated by people with a bit of paranoid. Close brackets. Another notable advantage is that EOS won't require users to pay for every transaction on its platform, unlike Ethereum. Though these major cryptocurrencies will have a hand in the action, 2018 is anyone's year. As blockchain technology infiltrates the mass consumer space, we'll see coins and tokens we haven't even heard of yet dominating the space. When Vosbat put a real market, real estate market on the blockchain to Vosbat make it easier for content creators such as artists and bloggers to share with fans. Innovators will use the blockchain to revolutionize the way we buy, sell and conduct business. Bitcoin might have started it all, but these new coins and tokens will become household names along with cryptocurrency itself. Thank you guys for listening. Bye.